Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Yang saya cintai Bapak Purbaya Yudi Sadewo, Chairman of the Indonesia Deposit Insurance Corporations. Thanks for your nice introductions and opening. Distinguished guests, honorable speakers, and forum participant, ladies and gentlemen. I am honored and delighted to be here tonight at the Bloomberg CEO Forum 2024. This is a gathering of visionary leaders who would shape the global business landscape today and tomorrow. Our team, through transitions to continuing growth, resonate deeply as we transition from President Jokowi era to President-elect Prabowo. The team is both timely and relevant as we navigate a rapidly changing world that will impact all countries. As we reflect our past, we recognize the significant progress Indonesia has made. Over the decades, we have witnessed stable economic growth, improved infrastructures, enhanced human capital, and better living standards of the people. However, as we look to the future, we must remain vigilant and proactive in addressing the challenges ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, transition is not merely a change in leadership. It is an opportunity for renewal and improvement. Essentially, transition is about change and continuity, change for the better. Indonesia must continue on its development path to be strong, more developed nation in this century. We endeavor for achieving peace and stability in this country, higher economic growth, better people's welfare, and more mature democracy. To enhance our economic growth, Indonesian economy must transform from resource-based development into human capital, innovation, technology, and an entrepreneurship-based economy. Economic growth that Indonesia pursues must also be inclusive and environmentally sound. In the wave of the fourth Industrial Revolution, Indonesia must embrace digital transformation. By doing that, Indonesia can improve its competitiveness in a rapidly changing global economy. In this forum, I would also remind us all that partnership and collaboration is key and essential. I advise all of you, leaders, in business and industry to engage with the government. Continuous dialogue and cooperation between the private sector and government will be the key to success for all. Your insights are vital for the government in crafting policies that will not only drive economic growth, but will also enhance the quality of life of the citizens. I strongly believe in a good prospect for future Indonesian economy. We have great potential in both natural and physical resources. Our large populations and the scale of our human capital continue to grow. With that, there are two things that are important for Indonesia. 
First, we need clear visions and correct forward-looking policies coming from our leader. Second, we also need effective collaboration between government and private sectors. The government must build better investment climate, legal certainty, and correct regulations. With better investment, I should say with better investment climate and policy, business can grow that in return create more jobs and pay more taxes to the government. With that, finally, government can continuously promote the welfare of the people. Building a better investment climate, sound economic policy, and predictable and stable legal framework, in my view, is an unfinished agenda for the government. In our efforts to elevate economic growth, we must also strengthen our ties within the ASEAN community and the world. Regional cooperation will enhance trade, investment, and connectivity that will allow us to advance our collective strength. With strong regional cooperations, we can also tackle our common global agenda, such as combating global warming, alleviating world poverty, and reducing the negative impact of technological disruptions. In conclusion, once again, I am optimistic of Indonesia's future. The transition to President Elek Prabowo present a unique chance to redefine our trajectory. In my constructive conversation with Mr. Prabowo, I have a strong belief that the next government, inshallah, will and can do more to enhance our economic growth, to promote people's welfare, and to safeguard our democracy. He has strategic visions, concrete objectives, and relevant agenda that this country is strongly need, needed in the next five to 10 years. Of course, there are always challenges in realizing leaders' visions and policies, but I do believe that there is always a solution to any problem. I thank you. <laughs>